Nobody else has seen this. Today we have seven characters to show you, some returning, some new. There's far more in this game that we'll be able to show you right here, but we do want to hit on the enhancements from the game, the fighting and the custom character variations. Garrus is a new fighter in the game and who can has a really cool time control abilities. You know, Mortal in NetherRealm games, we really try to add something new. Mortal Kombat X, we introduced a feature called Character Variations. Three versions of every single character. MK11's expanding on that idea, creating custom character variations the player can actually create by themselves. So you notice they're going to be selecting different versions of Scorpion. Some were created by the players, some were created already in the game. Same thing with Baraka. Cotton warriors are legendary. Then why don't you flee, Earthrealmer? The Shaddai Ryu embrace danger. Round one, fight! So this is a Mortal Kombat game, so you expect the fighting to be brutal. MK11 sees the return of Baraka, who was a fan favorite from Mortal Kombat 2. So let's see some of the moves he does here. Not to be outdone, Scorpion has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, now without getting too technical, we're gonna get into some of the geeky fighting game uh, moments out there. Mortal Kombat, traditionally we've had one meter that's a shared resource amongst the offense, defense, and the super moves. Mortal Kombat X is separating all three of those. So we have a horizontal meter is the offense attacks, vertical meter is the defensive attacks. See, Baraka's gonna shoot him too using his offensive moves. Also can extend this leg stab here into a throw with a, also. Scorpion here is going to escape a, from a knockdown using his defensive meter. And you're going to notice here that the uh, fatal blow is, that's actually tied to 30% of the, of the health meter when it's reduced, you get fatal blow available. This adds completely new dynamic and tension to the fighting. Both in Baraka and Scorpion have a fatal blow right now. Baraka wins this fight. Round two, fight. So Scorpion missed his fatal blow attack, but it actually will regenerate after a cooldown period. So you'll notice his, his fatal blow is established, he can pull it off. And now to be outdone, Baraka now has his fatal blow available. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities. We're gonna quickly talk here about, we have custom variations. On this player variation screen, the players can create, modify, and collect multiple versions of every character. There are a ton of features that you can customize from the costume pieces, the intros, the victories, as well as a huge variety of skins here. 
Every, cost, every fighter has three costume pieces. You see Scorpion, they're changing the mask here, picking a new one. You can actually program these at different attributes. See, we're swapping out the spear, or the, the katana for a new one. And of course, Scorpion's iconic spear can be swapped out for a new one as well. Now this visual here is gonna give you an idea of kind of like the dramatic differences you can have in the different variations of Scorpion here. This is the case with all the fighters. So you're gonna know a Scorpion and Barack, all the kind of variations you're gonna see, you know, playing people online and whatnot. Our second fight here is Sonya versus, versus Scarlet, who was a returning character from Mortal Kombat 9. Looking for me, Scarlet. A few pints of blood is all I ask. Trust me, I'm not your type. Round one, fight. Both Sonya and Scarlet would turn with their classic moves as well as some new ones. Sonya has a bunch of gadgets that she can play with here. While Scarlet has her signature blood attacks. We're gonna take a look at some of the nuances we have. We have a new feature called a flawless block. A perfectly timed block will open a window for countering attacks. Watch Scarlet doing a quick hop. You can evade low attacks and also open another window for uh, countering moves. Now, I noticed Sonya's health is reached below 30%. When it reaches there again, you're going to notice a fatal blow is available. That's when you can release the deficit. Again, Sonya has her fatal blow ready, so she can take, release it. So that was enough damage to release fatal blow available for Scarlet, which she'll attack here. which is enough to win the match, and you might have seen a glimpse of this fatality here. So that's a little piece of Mortal Kombat 11, but I, I'm guessing maybe you guys want to see some fatalities, a little more more. Okay, we're gonna roll this footage. I uh, can't wait for you to check that out. Finish him.
Okay. <laughs> First of all, Scarlet has returned. Yes. What has it been like to bring back this fan favorite that we haven't seen since Mortal Kombat 9? Yes, we, we, we introduced Scarlet as a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 9, and uh, she's been one of the most demanded returning characters, so we knew we had to kind of abide by that. I know my buddy Scar out there is super stoked as well. All right. We saw some classic combatants like Scorpion, Sub-Zero, plus we have Dark Raiden, and Baraka is back. We saw Baraka rip somebody's face off. So, okay, we also have some new fighters. Um, for, for you and your team, what is this process like, not only to create new characters, but to refresh some of the classics? Uh, refreshing and deciding which ones to come back is pretty much you guys. You know, we really hear, we hear what you guys say. Uh, as far as creating characters, that's, that's some of the most fun we've had. You know, Garrus is a new character that we have a really cool look at. You're going to see a little bit later. Um, but that process is usually very collaborative with, uh, you know, with the people. Right, looking forward to that, folks. And we witnessed combos, fatalities, but one of the hallmarks of Mortal Kombat has always been the rich detailed story. So what can we look forward to in Mortal Kombat 11 when it comes to the story? Yeah, you, you saw a glimpse of the, the beginning of the story here. We actually have a video here. It's the entire opening cinematic, the whole prologue of the story. It really picks up right after MK9, and I think you guys are going to get a big kick out of it. <laughs> 